All right, let's see. We dive in with a birthday reading, shall we? For May 6th, the day of materialized fantasy. Hey, if it's May 6th, then it's your birthday. I just want to reach out to you with a heartfelt happy birthday. Um, if it's not your birthday, but it's May 6th, uh, hey, I hope you had a happy birthday. For everyone else who's dropping in, just out of curiosity, I just want to extend you a heartfelt welcome, and uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, so let's get started. Your month is May, your day is 6th, uh, your sign is 15 to 17 degrees Taurus, your period is Taurus 2, and your element and qualities is fixed Earth. All right, May 6th, the day of materialized fantasy. Those born on May 6th seem to be in touch with how fantasy, imagination, and the unconscious work. This understanding generally manifests in one of two ways, in being sympathetic, even empathetic with others, or in embodying the fantasies of others. In essence, being a star. The teachers, counselors, and sympathetic parents of the first type are experts in guiding people through difficult times and helping them understand their motivations. The star type is obsessed with the realizing of dreams, daring to live out fantasies that most people keep bottled up. The tapping into the imagination process is a special gift and must be managed wisely. If May 6 people use this talent amorally or without a goal, they may end up manipulating the lives of others for their own benefit or forcing themselves into a career or marriage that was never meant to be. The most successful May 6 people are those who recognize their limitations and are able to treat both their goals and those of others obje objectively and eth ethically. <laughs> May 6 people often experience difficult or traumatic childhoods, which they manage to overcome with great courage and tenacity. These difficulties can lend them insights into life which people with normal upbringings or less sensitivity may never know. If those born on this day utilize such insight with compassion and empathy, they will be truly valuable individuals to society. It is often the case that May 6 people are of great service to others while still remaining victims of their own private sufferings, which they usually hide from the world. Because they are so sensitive and perhaps driven by the workings of destructive, unconscious drives, those born on this day are particularly prone to emotional instability as well as physical discomforts and pain. The theme of repeatedly striving to overcome obstacles is a constant in the lives of many May 6 people. In an effort to control their destinies, they may become unduly compulsive, structuring every moment of their time as if they are afraid that if they don't, things will fly apart somehow. A seemingly efficient and reasonable lifestyle may thus be hiding a volcano of seething emotions of which May 6 people themselves are not always aware. On the other hand, those born on May 6 are most understanding of the irrationality of others, having a kind of sixth sense for it. They can be dependent upon in a difficult emotional situation for their wisdom and courage. Often they will take the side of the underdog or victim, whose psyche they understand only too well. Attractive people born on this day must sometimes guard against those they seek to help, falling in love with, or idolizing them. Although such attention can be gratifying to the ego, it only show, slows down a May 6 person's own process of self-realization. All right, let's dive into some of the people born on this day so we know what uh, company May 6 people are in. Sigmund Freud, who's a Venetian Jewish founder of psychoanalysis, psychology pioneer, and he wrote The Interpretation of Dreams. Maximilien Robespierre, Robespierre uh, he was a French revolutionary, reign of terror instigator, and guillotined. Orson Welles, who's a film actor, screenwriter, producer, director, Citizen Kane fame. Rudolph Valentino was a silent film legend of the chic. He died at 31 and was mourned by millions. Willie Mays was a baseball outfielder, four-time NLHR and stolen base leader, 
two-time MVP, 12-time Golden Glover, and uh, let's see, or Gold Glover, rather, Hall of Famer as well. Robert E. Perry, he was an explorer, scientist, and the first man to the North Pole. Max uh, O. Fulls, German film director, Lola Montez, something he was a part of. Ernst Ludwig uh, Kirchner, who's a German expressionist painter, sculptor, and a graphic artist. A.P. Gianni, Giannini, rather, he was a businessman, and he founded the Bank of America. T.H. White was a journalist, writer, the making of a president, apparently he wrote. Yashuni Inua, I'm sure I butchered that, so let's give the liver a chop there. T.H., well, let's see, I did that one. Uh, Weeb Iwabank, football coach. He was only coach to win both the NFL and the AFL titles. Samuel Doe is a Liberian president. Barbara Anerstein Black, Colombian law school dean. Uh, Gina Dimunitrov, Bulgarian opera singer. Uh, Emmanuel Keller, New York congressman. Christian Morgenstern, German writer. Stuart Granger or Granger, rather, film actor, Victor uh, Newberg, British poet, and Andrea Messina, a French 18th century general. All right, let's move on to your numbers and your planets. Those born on the sixth day of the month are ruled by the number six and by the planet Venus. Because those ruled by the number six are magnetic in attracting love and admiration, and since Venus, also the ruler of Taurus, is strongly connected with social interaction, May 6 people inevitably work with others in a social context. Love is often the dominant theme in the life of a person ruled by the number six. Moving on to your tarot. As if to emphasize this last point, the sixth card of the major arcana is the lovers. Symbolizing the love that unites all humanity through integration of masculine and feminine polarities. On the good side of this card indicates affections and desires on a high moral, aesthetic, and physical plane. On the bad side, unfulfilled desires, sentimentality, and indecisiveness. Since the astrology of Taurus, the tarot and the characteristics of the number six all indicate the primary influence of Venus, those born on May 6 will have to keep a handle on projective fantasies and exercise care in regard to love, relationships, and beauty. Moving on to your health, those born on May 6 may fall prey to their active unconsciousness and fantasy drives putting them under tremendous emotional stress. Although they objectively understand mood swings, hysteria, and other emotional difficulties, they must be careful not to fall victims themselves. They can suffer from low self-esteem and should be encouraged to think of themselves in a more realistic fashion while building a stronger but less narcissistic ego. In addition, they must be aware of becoming over-dominant and protective. They should also be on the lookout for sex and love addictions, to which they are particularly prone. Diets emphasizing cooked fresh vegetables and grains will be helpful in keeping the sensitive systems of May 6 people in balance. Both homeopathic and herbal remedies are recommended. And here's some advice. Keep a handle on your emotions. Wait to be asked for help, while at the same time not being afraid to ask for help yourself. Get your own house in order. Employ your perceptions wisely. Remain sensitive to the feelings of others. All right, and here is your meditation. Strange coincidences may be but the normal workings of the universe. Yeah. All right. Your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths are your sensitive, astute, and imaginative. Your weaknesses, emotionally unstable, suffering, and indulgent. All right. Your season is spring, and once again, your sign is Taurus, Taurus too specifically, and your elemental qualities it's fixed earth. Now, once again, if it's your birthday, I just want to say happy birthday. And uh, if you just joined us out of curiosity, hey, thanks for dropping in. We'll see you on the next one. All right.